Some examples of fringe benefits um, in the workplace, so medical aid fund or health insurance fund, perhaps your employer uh, contributes towards a hospital plan or medical aid or maybe like a very special medical aid, a pension fund. So when you eventually retire, when you're typically 65 plus, you can have access to a pension. You've got a provident fund as well. Some funeral benefits in the event of your death, car, travel, housing, cell phone, clothing allowance too. So just some nice benefits of being an employee. Um, sorry, just, just to go back to the Provident Fund. Uh, this is a lump sum that is paid out uh, in the event of your retirement. Sorry, should have explained that. Um, some performance-based incentives. So maybe you get better levels of commission. Maybe if you know, you're know you working at a call center, you're selling insurance. Maybe if you sold the most insurance, not only do you get a commission, but for being the number one employee, um, you know, you get a trip to Mauritius issuing of bonus shares as well. So, you know, maybe you've performed really well, or maybe you've been at the company for five years, you get some additional shares in the company, maybe you get a staff discount, you know, let's say you're working at, let's say Edgar's, uh, you could get 25% off their winter line, something like that. Maybe free or low cost meals that have been subsidized by the corporation, uh, and access to canteen facilities. So canteen facilities, like little cafeterias that sell food to the employees working for that specific corporation.